Okay, so the postman's just been from Hamburg and we've got a new toy. Let's get it out of the box and see what we've got. Right, so we've got an electro dirt bike RTR, ready to run dirt bike. Wanted the electric one over the nitro because I'm not a big fan of smelly nitros, I know a load of you are. So we've got a brushless motor, 50 amp ESC, and a four and a half kilogram steering servo. Quarter scale, so she's going to be pretty big. Comes ready to run, controller, battery, charger, all in there. 7.2 LiPo, 2S, that'll be then. Let's get it out of the box. Oh my God, guys, that is huge. Look at the size of that. Look at that packing, nothing in it. Miles just wrecking the place. Something in there, probably the controller. Wow. Right, let's get this guy out. Loads of packing, it's awkward with one hand. Let's just push the box over. Look at that. That is massive. That's what she said. Uh... Hold that, Miles. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. Right, it's all fully unboxed now. What an epic looking bike. It really is huge. We'll put an extra crate and 6S after, as you can see the size. Comes with instructions, I would assume, on here. No use to me, because my computer hasn't got a CD drive. We've got the controller. Not a bad feeling controller. It's quite a long reach to the throttle, and I can't reach it with one hand there. Underneath the cover there, you've got very Dumbo style camera to focus the or dual rates for the steering and the throttle and you've got some trims on there the on off button on the back nice and easy click that back down what an awesome looking bit of kit it's not fully ready to run as the box suggested it didn't come with a 2s battery so we've just had a rummage we got this little turner g2200 with the the right dean's plug on there so we'll put that on charge we'll get it in the bike and get it powered up right so we've got the battery door open there's loads of room up in here for a 2s we'll probably try it on a, a 3s at some point and uh, the esc is all the way up in the top there and the steering servo and just see the steering servo in there we'll see how fast and powerful that is in a bit it's a 4300 kv brushless motor a real chain so we're gonna have to make sure we keep that in the right tension and oiled up you see we've already got some thread lock on there so that's going to be good this particular one's got the electronic gyro in the back wheel so when you first turn it on you need to let the gyro spin up first so the bike will be nice and stable and it won't tip over loads of rear suspension guys that is super smooth super smooth what's the front like quite hard to press the front line actually because of the angle of it look at all that travel that is going to take some monster bashing that yep. love it absolutely brilliant heavy old thing mine yeah i thought that one just to give you a real quick sort of uh, idea how big this thing is, behind it is a 1 8 scale Creighton EXB. This thing is massive. It's literally the length of a Creighton. Amazing. Cannot wait to get this out. It doesn't look small even for a low SBR. So massive. Pretty big. One thing though, guys, if you don't mind, please subscribe. Some t shirt, right? Controllers on, the bike's got a battery in it. We're all ready for a first startup. Very uh, similar to a hobby wing button. This one, you've got a program button on there, but the look of it as well. So, press this. Yeah, we can hear that electronic gyro starting up. Let's check the steering. Yeah, that's not much travel on that at all, is it? But I suppose once it's going, it'll be fine. You've got to leave these for a couple of minutes just so the gyro speeds up, and that'll stop the bike from falling over as soon as you move it. Not bad. A bit of ballooning, guys. Might need to glue those tyres on. God, it sounds like it's going to take off. 
That is so cool, a real chain and sprockets. Look at that. Definitely some ballooning going on on that tyre already. I cannot wait to get this out. I'll tell you what we've done as well. We've actually branded our rider. Give us a post in the comments. I reckon we should call it Dean because it's probably going to crash all the time and it's got a Dean's plug on it. So we'll give you a ring later, Dean. He's only gone and got a radical RC jumper on, guys. Check that out. Right, that gyro is fully up to speed now. I just want to check something. Oh my God, I can't even tip it over. That is crazy. That is all my force there and I can't actually tip the bike over. That is unbelievable. Wow. Have a go with that, Miles. See if you can tip that. Jesus, I can't. What's that all can't. about? Wow. Right, Dean is back on. He's... Uh, Merch step, battery's charged. Let's take it out for a rip. Okay, so we're on location down in Oldmore. We've got the uh, new bike to test out with Dean riding it. We've got Miles at the MT10, so let's have a rip. Okay, so we've got our control on, we've turned the bike on. Just listen to that e gyro winding up in the back wheel. I'm not actually sure how long you need to leave it for, but uh, we'll wait till it gets louder and uh, a steady pitch, and then we're good to go, I reckon. Amazing place for a first ride though. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. Good luck, team. from our first shakedown with the Really RC motorbike. Initial thoughts, really impressed with it, rides really well. The biggest disappointment, like I thought was gonna be the case, is the steering. It's absolutely terrible. There's just no lock on it at all. A lot of it, probably gonna be down to my bad riding skills with it. You need to really slow down, and that'll turn a little bit tighter as so you've gotta sort of let it tip into a corner. Just try and demonstrate. The steering will steer quicker if you've got a steeper head angle. So if you're driving with the power on, the back of the bike squats down and it slackens the head angle so it steers very slowly. So if you try and brake into a turn, it'll dip the front forks down and that'll increase that steering angle so it'll turn quicker. There are a couple of little things I've looked at on line and they reckon just under there, you can see on the bottom there, there's a spring, which is a, like a steering damper spring on the servo oh, saver. Gosh, if you tighten that up, that's meant to uh, improve the steering somewhat, so we'll try that. Gosh, Failing that, there are different linkages you can 3D print or buy for the top, so the steering sort of wanders a bit rather than pivoting like a normal bike does. Gosh, so that's probably not helping either. We got about eight minutes or so on this tiny little 2S probably about 10 minutes on a 2200 but this just turned up in the post so we're going to try this i'll just put the bike down a sec this one is a z power 2s but it's a 5000 milliamp power hard sell so that'll fit absolutely perfect in there that's really small if you look at the size difference between a, a 22 not a huge amount in it and it actually comes with separate leads so these are just going to plug positive in there 
negative in there and the balance in the middle and then we can uh, fit that into the bike just to see if that lasts any longer it should last a good 15 20 minutes i suppose with a 5000 pack so we're going to do a couple of mods on the bike going to put a 40 kilogram servo in because i can't help thinking a four and a half kilogram servo fighting all the uh, gyroscopic forces is not ideal and we're going to try and get some uh, more throw on that steering as well so that'll be in another video so hopefully we can get it running better would i recommend it absolutely a little bit of time spent setting it up i reckon that'll be a winner guys really nice to have something different 